If you're managing your personal finances with software and one of your light item expenses is the subscription service for the software you're using to manage your personal finances, there's a better way and it's free. Stick around. I get a lot of requests for software alternatives on this channel from you, the viewers. And one request that I have gotten repeatedly is for an alternative to Quicken for personal finance and QuickBooks for business financial software. The program we're looking at today will likely not replace QuickBooks for your business, but it is a solid alternative for personal finance software like Quicken with a little small business capabilities built in. Today, we're taking a look at K My Money, the personal finance manager from the KDE developer community. It's open source, private, and it aims to give you all the tools you need without costing a dime. KDE is a well-known software developer with over 200 software titles across all platforms. I've personally used applications like Kden Live for video editing, Krita, a professional paint tool, and Digicam, a digital asset manager for professional photography, to name a few. So what exactly is K My Money? At its core, it's a personal finance manager that helps you keep careful track of your money. The project has three main goals. First, it's feature parity to provide the important features you'd find in commercial programs like Quicken. Second is ease of use. It strives to be incredibly user-friendly, even for non-technical users. And third, correctness. It's built on tried and true double entry accounting principles to ensure your financial records are accurate. And because it's open source, you have full control over your data. No cloud uploads, unless you want them. Your financial data stays with you and can even be GPG encrypted for maximum security. If you're not familiar with GPG encryption, essentially it's an encryption tool that provides a secure and reliable way to protect your communications and data by using public and private keys to encrypt and decrypt information. Let's walk through some of the key features. When you first start, KMyMoney Money has a new file setup wizard that guides you through everything. You'll set up your personal details, choose your base currency, and can even create your first checking account right away. Next is accounts. This is the foundation. KMyMoney Money supports a huge range of account types, like asset accounts like your standard checking, savings, and cash accounts. It also has dedicated investment and other asset accounts for things like property. It also has liability accounts. This is for tracking debt with specific types for credit cards and loans. You can group these accounts under different institutions like your main bank or credit union, which is a nice organizational touch. Next up is transactions. The ledger view is where you'll spend a lot of your time. It's the data entry hub of the application. You can enter transactions using a simple form or directly into the list. And yes, it fully supports split transactions for when a single purchase needs to be divided among multiple categories, like when you're at Costco buying things in bulk. You also have payees, categories, and even tags to organize every transaction. Categories are your income and expense budgets, while tags offer another layer of organization. Next, we have schedules for recurring bills and income, like your salary, rent, or subscriptions, which I despise. Disclaimer. I am not a financial advisor and this is not financial advice, but watch more Reynos Tech videos and you'll have less subscription services. Once you set up schedules, KMI Money can then remind you or even enter these transactions automatically when they're due, which is cool. Next up is investments. This is a big one for anyone looking to switch from Quicken. KMI Money has robust investment features. It's designed specifically for securities like stocks and mutual funds. You create an investment account, and within that, you can add all your individual securities. It handles all the essential activities, buys, sells, dividends, and even stock splits. A really smart feature is the use of a separate brokerage account for the cash component of your investments, keeping your holdings clean and easy to track. And you can get online price quotes to keep your portfolio value up to date. Okay, the big question, can it really replace Quicken? Let's compare. First, we have cost. This is the easiest one. K My Money is 100% free. No subscriptions, no hidden fees. 
Quicken operates on a subscription model. That's a clear win for K My Money. Two is data and privacy. With K My Money, your data file is stored locally on your computer. You can have it as a standard compressed file or for ultimate privacy, a GPG encrypted file. You own and control your data, period. If my data is stored with a third party and they get breached, and it happens all the time, there was nothing I could do to prevent that. However, if my data is encrypted and stored locally on my computer, I have full control and there are plenty of things I can do to protect it. Number three, importing data. If you're switching, this is crucial. K My Money has a powerful set of importers. It can handle the common QIF file format that many programs export, but even better, it has plugins to directly import OFX files which is the modern standard, and it can even import CSV files from spreadsheets. Number four, features. K-My Money's stated goal is to achieve feature parity with commercial managers. It has robust account management, scheduling, reporting, and investment tracking. Quicken may have some more polished bells and whistles or more integrations, but for core personal finance management, K My Money is incredibly comprehensive. So, who should use K My Money? Well, if you're tired of paying subscription fees, you probably should. This is the most obvious reason. Or, if you value privacy and data ownership and you're not comfortable with your financial data in the cloud, K My Money's local first approach might be perfect for you. Or, if you're an open source enthusiast, it's part of the fantastic KDE ecosystem and runs great on Linux, Windows, and Mac OS. Or, if you need powerful features without the fluff, you get detailed control over your finances from double entry accounting to complex investment tracking. It's designed to be easy to use for non-technical users so you don't need to be a computer guru to get started. K My Money is an outstanding piece of software. It is, without a doubt, one of the best free alternatives to Quicken available today. It's powerful, flexible, and respects your privacy. The learning curve might be a little steeper than some commercial products if you're new to double entry concepts, but the documentation on their website is excellent. And the long-term benefit of a free, powerful, and private financial manager is absolutely worth it. If you're not sure, don't cancel your existing services. Just download it and check it out. You have nothing to lose because it's free. What are your thoughts? Will you give it a try? Drop me a comment below and let me know. Also, drop me a comment if there is another alternative program you've been looking for and you would like me to review. If you found value in this video, do me a favor, like and share the video and subscribe to the channel. When you subscribe to the channel, it really does help me grow the channel and it gets these videos out to more people. Check out some of these other videos that you might find helpful. And as always, thank you for watching and until next time.